good jeans is our star player here so it's an all-in-one lactic acid um, serum so different serums do different things this serum does everything if somebody just wants one thing doesn't want to do a whole bunch of different oils or a morning serum a night serum if they just want one thing that does it all this one's it so it plumps out lines and wrinkles it resurfaces or retexturizes it gives you radiance it unclogs pores it's purified lactic acid it's got licorice root in there that actually <coughs> brightens and gives your skin radiance um, did I say it unclogs pores too you have dull uh, flaky texture um, it exfoliates that deflakes um, so this is your you know star product here if you just need one thing yeah so it also has lemongrass a lot of people say oh, what's the scent that is what you smell when you smell this it's got lemongrass in there so it's an, an astringent um, that gives you a really toned complexion mm -hmm. so good jeans can also be um, used to mask if you have a special occasion mm -hmm. this is how Sunday Riley got on the map during fashion week in New York um, backstage the models um, you know they were doing flash fix mm -hmm. so if you use equal portions of ceramic slip and good jeans and leave it on the skin for 3 to 15 minutes um, you come out with an immediately radiant complexion no more pores lines are plumped out it's everything so when the models were coming out, everybody was saying, what are y'all doing to the model's skin? And that's how really Sunday Riley got on the map. <clears throat> so that's good jeans. Which I can change those prices. Like I can make yeah. the prices different. So that in case we don't get that before the event. Awesome. Ceramic slip. So this is our cleanser. Well, one of them. We have Blue Moon too. Mm -hmm. But this one's a gel, a creamy gel cleanser that doesn't lather. Mm -hmm. You use it on dry skin, maybe a dime-sized amount for your whole face and eyes. It'll take off waterproof eye makeup and everything. Ooh, nice, yeah. So it's got bentonite clay, French green clay, and white clay. Mm -hmm. um, so it purifies it's pores, it's removes excess oils, pollutants from the air. Uh -huh. But it's got rice oil esters and olive oil esters, so it adds hyper hydration back in. So you just feel completely cleansed without stripping your skin, um, so you don't have that tight feeling. Yeah, I love this. This is. I love that too. I like cleansers that don't that don't foam because it feels like hydrated after. Right. I love that. So Blue Moon is our other cleanser. So this can be used as a two-step if somebody wants to do a double cleanse or if somebody's really dry, um, you can use this or just like to use a balm, this is the one. So it's got this really creamy texture, but it's got an exfoliant in it. So, and the exfoliant is sugar, so it doesn't over exfoliate. The, the sugar's actually melt into the skin. So when your skin's had enough exfoliation, it's done. Yeah. So it's got moringa butter, cocoa butter, plant-based sugars. It's got blue tansy and chamomile oil in it. Ooh. Sweet vanilla and tangerine essential oils for a calming experience. Um, so you can use that as your first step cleanse mm. or if they want a balm mm. and there's no um, after feel. Like it oh, doesn't yeah. I mean, it rinses completely good clean. yeah like the clinic one's greasy yeah after uh, that. there's so many yeah that do that um Ooh. that one rinses completely clean with no film can afterwards. you do like this as um like eye makeup remover and yes. like everything too okay yes mm. it's my new favorite thing love it Ooh, I to try. so um I love a ball. Aaron is recording live and if you can go out on Saturday you can go to church on Sunday <laughs> Oh my gosh. And like I said, you can use this as a mask too. You can uh -huh. leave it on for about 10 minutes to get super rich hydration. Ooh, I love that. 
So Juno oil, and I like to tell people this is food for your face. So blackberry seed oil, cranberry seed oil, blueberry seed oil, red raspberry seed oil, black cumin seed oil, wild carrot seed oil, broccoli, chardonnay grape, meadow foam seed oil. So it gives you antioxidant pr uh, prote protection and hydration. Um, it's superfoods for your skin. So it's a great starter oil for somebody that just wants to add an oil to their routine or somebody has some irritation going on that they want uh, to calm their skin down with. Mm -hmm. It's a great starter oil. Would you recommend this just at nighttime? No, ma'am, that's the one she's not gonna recommend because of the price point and what it does for your skin. Okay. Luna and um, You can do it at night or in the morning. Right. Sunday Riley's, all of her stuff except for Luna and the retinol, mm -hmm. Um, you tailor it to the client's needs, whatever their skincare um, concerns are. Okay. So, but obviously the retinols you do at night. Yeah. So, oh, also two to three drops okay. is all you need. That's for every oil we're sending around, correct? Yes. We're not going to be pouring oil all over our face <laughs> like on Instagram. Yeah. So it's actually going to absorb into the skin mm -hmm. and Can you won't feel oily at What Do you recommend mixing it or do you just put it directly on the face? It depends on what you want to do. Okay. You can do either. Okay. So the Luna oil. So this is a trans retinol ester that's balanced by blue tansy, German chamomile, and cape chamomile, avocado seed oil, and chia seed oil. So you get all the benefits of a 1% retinol mm -hmm. with no side effects like burning, mm -hmm. dryness, flakiness, or peeling. Um, you use two to three drops on that massage the blue until it's clear and that's when the retinol has been delivered but so that's a serum that you use at night two to three drops yeah. this is also a dry oil my skin's usually really sensitive to retinol and that one doesn't burn at all exactly that's so nice a lot of people are scared to use retinols mm -hmm. and even you know most products don't even have a one percent retinol mm -hmm. um but this one does, and you don't get any side effects. Yeah, for you sure. You just have like beautiful, glowy skin. So apply that as your serum at night underneath your moisturizer. Okay. Two to three drops. A plus. So this is a powerful retinoid blend. 6.5% retinol. I do not, okay. So all of Sunday Riley's um, products have active ingredients that are balanced by botanicals. Mm -hmm. However, please don't put somebody that's a new retinol user in this serum. Okay. So this is for someone who has been using retinol or Retin-A, mm -hmm. is used to lactic glycolic acids, mm -hmm. stuff like that. You wanna have something to be able to build up on too, yeah. you know? That's probably the highest percent we sell, though. Is that the only other one I know is that Dr. Brandt one, but it's only 2%. Wow. But it's got honey, ginger, and CoQ10. So it doesn't... Again, you don't feel the any bad side effects that you would from a high percent retinol if yeah. you're already using a retinol nice. product. Cool. So it's amazing. Mm -hmm. So serious results with no downtime. So both of these, one of these, would you recommend someone use both of them? So what you, you can. Do is you would use this one. If this one is too strong for them, this would buffer that. Correct. Okay. Because you can layer one. the two. Okay. If you've been using retinol right. and retinase and they want all the things, yeah. yes, you can layer. Cool. So which would you do first? Um, depending on the client's skin, there's no wrong way to do it. But if they're just going to come in and start using this, I tell them to use Luna first, the oil. Okay. Because it does help to buffer the this higher one. percentage. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, CEO Vitamin C Serum. So, Vitamin C brightens, lightens, and tightens. Um, got THD ascorbate, which is a highly stable form of vitamin C. It's also fat soluble, not water soluble. 
that's the difference between our vitamin C and most others. Mm -hmm. So if something is water soluble, um, it's whenever you put it on, it's just gonna kind of sit on top of your skin. And if you put on anything on top of it, it could disintegrate the product. Mm -hmm. So this one being fat soluble, it penetrates to the basal layer of the skin. Okay. And it actually absorbs and doesn't feel sticky. You wanna feel it? Yeah. I love, I love that product. And it was the number one vitamin C serum um, in 2018 and 2019. Nice. That is so nice. Wow. Right. Like you can literally tell the difference between my two hands. So they compare nice. this to skin SkinCeuticals. <laughs> uh -huh. And skin SkinCeuticals vitamin C is about 300 and Sixty dollars, three hundred fifty, and this one's eighty-five. Nice. How people ask for vitamin C's all the time too. So. That's my favorite. It's How so would you good. determine whether to put them in that serum or this oil right here? So it depends on what level they're wanting. If they want a serum, if they want a vitamin C serum, this one. If they just want something with a little bit of vitamin C in it could put this one but you can also layer these and you would put the serum on before the oil yeah okay. so the CEO vitamin C rich hydration cream so that's too much for the face. that's enough for your entire face and neck Really? Yes. yes. Okay. So you have no, to use about a third of what you would a normal moisturizer for your whole face and neck. Really? All of her products are very rich and you don't have to use a lot. So less is more. So vitamin C brightens, lightens, and tightens. So it's also got lime pearl extract in it. So it helps to lightly exfoliate throughout the day or if you're wearing it at night also. So, what was that? That's a neat fact because I've never heard of a moisturizer that had, you know, exfoliating properties in it. Well, so does Tidal, and which we're going to talk about. But that's a serum. Yeah. yeah. But it does hydrate. So, you apply that to clean skin um, once or twice a day, depending on the client. Mm -hmm. The main difference between these two moisturizers is this one's water based and this one's not. Oh, okay. So what does that do? Different. So if somebody's like, like acne oily. prone or gotcha. very oily, they're not gonna want that. Okay, okay, makes sense. And like I use this during the day and I like something a little bit more emollient at night. Mm -hmm. So I use that one. At night But you can gotcha. use them however, however way you works. want. Yeah. Mm -hmm. cool. So it's rich and not greasy too. So <coughs> the CEO Glow Drops. So this also has the THD ascorbate, which was that stable form of vitamin C that I was talking to you guys about earlier. Golden turmeric. So if you have any kind of um, irritation in your skin, inflammation, rosacea. Um, but this is not a dry oil, correct? This is a dry oil. All of her oils are dry oils. So it's got evening primrose in there for hydration, red raspberry seed oil, which is a superfood and full of vitamin C, ginger root <coughs> extract, which helps soothe the skin. So, and this has probably, um, I think they say 1% vitamin C. Mm -hmm. This is five and this is 15. Wow. And you can use that over makeup too oh. to give you a little pop of glow. That was on Good Morning America also. Okay, so the Tidal Moisturizer. This is the water-based moisturizer. I know. I thought about it as soon as I dipped my finger yeah. in there. <laughs> so this is a water-based gel cream. Also, there's no fragrance, parabens, or anything like that in Sunday's products. So, if you smell an ingredient, which this one smells very fresh and clean. Mm -hmm. it smells like aloe to me. It just smells so clean. Mm -hmm. So, 
It's got two forms of hyaluronic acid in it. Again, you use about a third of what you would a normal moisturizer. And these little scoops come in the boxes mm -hmm. and I show people. Mm -hmm. So I show people, this is about what you need for your face and neck. Wow, yeah. That's crazy. Wow. If you use all that, you're gonna- Be wasting just, it. It's yeah. waste. So it's not necessary. So two forms of hyaluronic acid in it. It's got papaya enzymes in it, which help to exfoliate all day long. Mm -hmm. It deflakes, um, hydrates, and it's also a brightening cream. So it's got alpha arbutin in it, which is a botanical that actually helps to slow the melanin production in your skin. So you, if you have any dark spots, sunspots, acne scarring, anything like that, it lightens it over time because your melanin production is So that would lessened. be a good moisturizer to pair with the UFO oil. Yes. Love that. So, autocorrect. My favorite eye cream ever. Ew. So it's got caffeine in it. Um, nice. So that helps with puffiness. Yeah. Horse chestnut extract, <clears throat> which helps the appearance of crow's feet, and a mil acmella extract, which instantly smooths imp expression lines. So you need to use about a size, the size of a grain of rice. It's about a quarter of a pump total for both eyes. Oh. Total for both eyes. Yes. So this is both eyes. This Ooh. is in a bladder bag too, so the product never touches the air. And this needs a new tester. Okay. So it gives you immediate contour contouring and firming. It helps with lines and wrinkles, hydration, and uh, dark circles and puffiness. Ooh. It's got lutein in it, which is a powerful antioxidant derived from marigolds. Um, caffeine, like I said, and watermelon rind extract, um, which is critical in hydrate for hydration. So Sunday, and it's a 360 also. Oh, nice. And it's a gel cream that actually absorbs. It works amazing as a primer underneath the concealer also. So Sunday says autocorrect gives you the effect of eight hours of sleep in one pump. That's my favorite oil. So, UFO? UFO. So anybody can use UFO. UFO is part of our acne line or clarifying line. Here. It's a dry oil that is antifungal and antibacterial. It's got 1%, 1 1.5% uh, salicylic acid. <coughs> so it treats um, existing acne and prevents new um, from forming. It also helps to treat cystic acne. It is the only product I've ever found that actually does treat cystic acne. And it's a dry oil that you use once a day, two to three drops. A lot of people are worried, especially if they have a lot of, no, okay. just once a day. So a lot of people are worried if they have oily skin or acne prone skin to use an oil. Mm -hmm. They're like, oh, well, it's already, it's already no. oily. So it actually helps to balance your skin out. Cool. So, and you can do it even on clear skin. So Sunday says try mixing a few drops of UFO clarifying acne oil with foundation to fight acne and look normal. Saturn. Love her, don't we, Taylor? Saturn. So the Saturn mask is a sulfur acne treatment mask mm -hmm. that you can also use to spot treat. So it's got 10% sulfur. That's Ooh. high. Yeah. <laughs> So that dries and clears up your acne while preventing new blemishes and blackheads from forming. Mm -hmm. It also helps with hormonal acne. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
Yes. Like a mask. Yeah. So you can use it if you have active acne. Um, you can use it two times a week if you'd like. Leave it on for 10 minutes and then rinse it off and moisturize. Or if you just have like one spot, you can spot treat, leave it on overnight, and in the morning it's not there anymore. Nice. So it's got niacinamide in it. Um, so it helps with the appearance of acne and rosacea, surface redness, and improves congested skin. And it's got zinc in it that helps absorb ex excess oil. So I love that. Me too. <clears throat> Save the best for last, huh? <laughs> Is that so, our Martian mattifying melting water gel toner? <laughs> it smells like jackfruit. Ooh. So, um, you use this in the morning. It's a mattifying. It's a mattifying, oil absorbing. Um, toner that's got cucumber, witch hazel, which calms, cools, and lightens skin. It's got green tea that's antioxidant rich. And you smell like your feet hate And marshmallow Stop. root, <laughs> which naturally soothes and cools skin. So it's got bentonite clay in it, so that absorbs excess oil. And manuka oil. That's mm. what you smell in the air. Mm. Black cumin, neem oil, and magnolia. Magnuka, manuka oil manuka. is what we smell. Yeah, it's a nut. That one. <laughs> but manuka and turmeric are both like that. They both smell odd, but they're both amazing for your skin. So you just have to fight it's through true. it. It's <laughs> true. This combo for acne is like no other. Okay. So I'm in that, you. with these three products, so you would do this first. This is your. It's the last thing. So you do, do your. This? No, so you would do So that. you only mask with this or spot. But treat. say you was going to do all three in one night, in or which order? So I would do this at night with Tidal Moisturizer and this during the day with a moisturizer. But I'm saying out of these three products, like which order would you do these in this acne line? Like, Cause I was so this at night and this during the day. Like if you were going to do together. the mask. together. That you do like the mask first, then this, and then this. Yeah. yeah. So this always goes on after the oil. Yes. Okay. That's your last thing because it gives you a matte appearance. I, I didn't know that. And you. it's amazing as a primer. It makes your makeup stay on all day. They say brides love it. Um, it it's kind of a gripping primer. Mm -hmm. So you just kind of put a little bit on a cotton uh, cotton round, like one pump. Rub it all over the face um, until you feel like a it starts to drag a little bit, so you get that grip. Mm -hmm. um, and it keeps you matte and oil-free and oilless all day. So would you yeah. recommend that for like, if you want to do it on somebody for a facial? Yeah, I've actually done that facial on Taylor before. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I was on, my friend, he got really bad. <coughs> also, if somebody's got really bad acne, you can mask with ceramic slip with any of Sunday Riley's oils. So if he has really bad acne, like you were talking about, I mean, this would be amazing a as a mask. Heat. Yeah, do this and mask with that. So about a nickel size amount of your ceramic slip with two to three drops of the clarifying oil. Um, leave on for three to five minutes and then rinse. And you can do that so with any these, of these. Yeah. But what she's good. saying is you can use this with any of the oils and mask with it. If somebody just wants vitamin C and really glowy, radiant skin, you can mask with those. Now, obviously, you don't want to mask with Luna because that's a retinol. Superfoods mask, hydration. Oh, yeah. Well, no, I went like this. So don't think about that. Like, all those kids. It's a good, it's a good, the kits are good. Do y'all have any questions about anything? Tell me what y'all got. Have you used this? Say that combo again. So you would do the title during the day mm -hmm. and this and this at night. And then you would moisturize after that? Do the moisturizer. Like the balm. Day and night. Yeah. Okay. So have you used this over your eyes? I love it. It doesn't matter yeah. at all? Okay, yeah. good. Okay, and so 
this gets, yes, and that's plant-based sugars there, so it's just a salt. Oh, these are yeah, it's not the same sugar. Uh, so these are really your chocolate. Yeah. Oh, so these five? I really want to try this. this. It's amazing to take off makeup, and I'm not a double cleanse kind of girl unless yeah. I'm feeling extra. When uh -huh. Sunday Riley says if you're using the right skincare, you shouldn't need to mask. Right. Um, you said you can mask with this one too? Yeah. You can mask like, with it just on its own for super duper hydration. Okay. Yeah. Um, but the, you see how the little sugar just yeah, they're kind just of gone. melts? So yeah. So your skin's had enough, it stops. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's no sugars left now. It's so It's going to be so clean. Let me get a tissue. And I love that it doesn't have a film. Yeah. And it like smells that. amazing. Okay. So if, yeah. Isn't that amazing? Because I'll, um, and if you want a double cleanse, you can. And then it got like a shine to it. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. I need this. I love it. Cause I'm an institution, so I was trying to find a new, find a line that I want to work with. Awesome. Okay, Good thank luck. you, Jenny. Thank you. <laughs>